I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy since uh, the day it came out on early release. One of the first things I noticed was again? that I did not like the controller. Yes, I'm ready now. Things did Very not well. feel right. There, there was a loose feeling to everything I did in the game. Uh, when you're turning corners, it felt like you yes, drifted around the corner. Inputs would take forever to register. Yes, I was Very waiting well. for the reaction there. after moving the sticks on the controller. I didn't really have any problems with the button. And I fought through it the first day. I said it's time to get a new controller. Now I ordered the same exact controller, got it set up, paired it with Bluetooth, same problem. So I tried to play again and it was just as bad if not worse, maybe because I was getting frustrated by this time and it just was not fun to play. Something had to have been wrong. I thought maybe the, the new controller was having issues. I went as far as completely erasing everything yes, in Steam. Right I just wanted a controller that would work in the game. I thought I had it working pretty good. And if you caught my live stream the other day, I could not target anybody. Every time I tried to cast a spell or do anything in a certain direction, it just wouldn't do it. I would move the controller and it would take so long for, for it to catch up. Um, I would go to cast a, a spell and it would go to the wrong target. I was not able to target anything at all. And when it did, it was so delayed that it was too late. So I kind of, I got a little frustrated, quit playing for a couple days, figured maybe it's just a buggy game. Did a little research and didn't really see anybody else having this problem saying, uh, and it was on the Xboxes that people were having the problem. So I kind of blew it off and I, I came back to the game and started playing some more. And instead of just trying to, to make it through the crossed ones, number three, I started experimenting and I started trying to see what was going on with the targeting, why things weren't working correctly. So I've done a few clips. I screen recorded everything I did testing this. And we're gonna take a look at them here and then I'll tell you how I fixed it. Sometimes it worked. At this time, I had the camera aim still on the default setting. So wherever you look with the camera is where you're supposed to aim. Well, it wasn't working half the time, if not more. I would have the camera pointed directly at someone and I could not get it to lock onto them. I, well, I could not get it to even target them. Again? And I verified I did not have yes, them now. set as target well. lock. Good luck out there. This was just spinning the camera around and Can't it would not again? target them. <laughs> So I would lose that round because I was unable to cast the spells. Now we'll look at this one in slow motion. I am looking directly at the guy. And the target, did, the white lock didn't even kick on until the very last minute. Now it's keeping him locked, but it took forever to acquire him. Care to try again? Yes, so I'm here we go. Well. Good luck I actually that. have somebody else targeted and ended up throwing this person right in front of me up in the air. Why did it go to them? I don't know. Now, here it seems to be stuck on that middle person. That one worked. So... This time, it does appear to be switching targets as I move the camera. Care to try again? Oh, target worked on that one. 
Now look, I am looking directly at the other guy and such a delay before it acquires him as the valid target. Now I don't know what's up with these two clips. I've got somebody target locked. The box just simply goes wherever it wants. Obviously, as I'm looking around, I'm not in target lock. And if you look at this screen right here, I am looking directly at him and there is no white outline. He is not acquired as a target, so I can't cast a spell or throw anything at him. Now, here's a time it worked perfectly. As I move down this row, it targets every single person as I run down the pathway. Every single one of them lit up as a possible target. Care to try again? So here we're gonna try the camera relative targeting. See if that fixes the issue. Ignore the aiming sensitivity. I was playing around with different settings. Uh, I actually had this at one most of the time. And, and look, right here, we'll just pause this. Immediately after starting into this match, the camera just zooms up and is looking at what I'm assuming is a book, a page up in the air. I did not target this. I did not push any buttons. It simply went there on its own right as soon as I started this match. Something is wrong here. Something's not right. Let's uh, see if we can figure it out. Now using the different camera aim settings seems to help. I am able to target different people for the most part. Things are not smooth. I still have the delay. It is just not responsive whatsoever. I really have to anticipate and push the buttons and move the sticks way ahead of time. It feels like there's such a lag, but I'm running a solid 144 frames per second, which is the most my monitor supports, and I have no problems with other games. As you can see, just adjusting that one setting seemed to make a pretty big difference. Let's see if we can make it better. Now this is the fix I came across that people on Xbox were using. So I'm going to try it. Let's see what happens. Now I'm still pushing the button in anticipation so much ahead of time from having to deal with it for so long that it's taken a little bit to get used to here. But everything has been very responsive. I'm able to switch targets immediately. This was the first time I felt like the game should have been. This is what I thought. Again? This is what I expected. Yes, I'm ready now. Was Very this well. kind of responsiveness and the ability, to, the basic ability to track things and follow targets. I'm even able to go off camera to the side and fire my wand off and still come right back to this person and finish him off. I can selectively target anybody now. And it's instant response. Akia. 
How about that? This fixed the game for me. I was beginning to say I was not going to play anymore. What a buggy mess. But this took care of it. So if you're having the same type of issues, I'm just getting started. you may want to try this out because it can save the game for you. There's no need for it to be horrible feeling with the controller. It is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. And about time. Yes. Well, I hope this helped you out. Certainly helped me. Now I look forward to playing some more of this game. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.